how many, have you seen any apps that uh, slave a particular smartphone or a tablet into becoming a beacon on its own? And you know, it's be because the ability of that is you can have uh, grid networking or some sort of brilliant social media factor to it, whatever. Absolutely. Um, I haven't seen a lot of uses where people, like a mainstream app where people are using, turning their beacon into another beacon. Um, there is one that comes to mind that I'll, I'll talk about in a, a little bit here called Pickpocket. That's really cool. Um, but definitely, imagine, okay, so everybody likes Tinder. I mean, if you're single, you're on Tinder or OkCupid or something. Um, let's say that you were able to indicate that you were okay getting notified if you were near that person. So, you know, you've, you've liked their profile, they've liked you, and you add a little check mark that says, okay, when I'm within 150 feet of this person, notify me. Send me a little notification. Oh yeah, this person's at the bar right now. You have their picture, I mean, maybe now's the time to go say hi. So you could totally do that with social networks. Yeah. Oh, so the question is, would the technology? Yeah, so the question is, could you put a, a, a small beacon on a, a child or an elderly person and track their location? You can. You can track their location in proximity to devices that are looking for that beacon. Once they get you know 150 feet away from a device that's looking for them, they're off the grid. But I would say maybe maybe someone would have a, an Amber Alert app, and then a beta text a beacon from one of from a child or reported as being missing. Absolutely. I mean, that sounds like a, a really great idea. I think that just illustrates how cool this technology is. I, I just think there are tons of businesses that could be created around it. Yeah. Yeah, so the question is, are the beacons reusable? Uh, it, it really depends. Um, some of them are made to be taken apart. Um, you can take apart any of them and replace the battery. It's not like they, anything fries inside of them. But I do think over time you're going to see beacons becoming disposable. Right now at scale, if you order a bunch of beacons, you can get the price down to like a dollar. Well, for a lot of companies, that's at the disposable mark where they deploy a grid of beacons and after the two months after they all die, they just throw them away because it costs more than a dollar to you know, replace the battery inside of them. Yeah? So building on Kurt's example of Microsoft versus Apple, uh, I'm at a Toyota dealership looking at a particular car to stop the Mazda person from coming over in the middle of the night and putting the little beacon on for the counter cars. <laughs> you walk up to the car, you're looking at Toyota, oh, look at the Mazda, I think I'll go look at that one. Absolutely. So, you know, the comment here is, you know, what if you had a car dealership? What if you had a beacon inside of each car? You could walk around with your phone and, you know, information could pop up on your screen. Just like in this trade show example, just like in the Best Buy example, view specs, ratings, pricing for an individual model of a vehicle.